Hi, it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I want to talk about what to do with your colouring pages that you don't like in the book or you want to make them into a project. So I've got some here and you can see that they're all bent um, and that's because the magazine that they were in has become all bent in my storage that I'd make them into a paper mache bowl. So to do that you just need a bowl and you can either cover the bowl with cling wrap and work on it that way or you can do what I did and blow up a balloon and rest it in the bowl. And of course you need your colouring pages and your glue. Now you can use a DIY glue uh, made out of flour and water or a hot alternative to that where you boil it or what I'm doing is just a PVA glue that's been diluted with water. And of course you need to cut up your pages. Now the more layers that you get on here the stronger your bowl will be and so that you can see the different colours you know it's a good idea to start with one colour and then do your next layer in another colour but of course you don't have to do that just makes it easier to see. And you can either cut them up into strips and little squares or you could use like a little puncher and make little shapes and whatnot out of them. So I might do a mixture of those things. Now because I coloured these pages in big markets, the, the sharpies and markets come through onto the other side. So that'll be the inner lining for the bowl. So I want to make sure that that one is a colourful piece that comes through onto the other side. Because when I put this down, or I can put this down face down, and then that will be the inner lining. So really the easiest way of doing this is you could do it with a brush and carefully glue on the glue to both sides of the paper but really I just think it's easier just to dip the strips in. Make sure you cover both sides. Remember I want the inner part of the bowl to have the coloured texture on it so I'm going to apply it the wrong way around because this will be the inner part when it dries. So I'm just going to pull off all the excess glue on here and then apply it coloured side down and overlap layers on top of it. So we've got one bit there. And don't worry about it if it rips, it adds to the charm. Now to ensure that I have enough layers to go around the outside of my bowl and it's still sturdy enough, I'm going to bulk up the next couple of layers with some cut up newspaper. You can use magazines or whatever you fancy. So same thing applies, just dipping it into your glue and layering it up. So this is now dried so it's time for the big reveal. Then just uh, neaten up the edges however you want it to look. You'll always get a little bit out of the edges. And there might even be some bits that you might need to glue down again. So there we have it, our bowl all trimmed. I'll probably go around it and trim it up with a craft knife later so it's colourful on the outside and colourful also on the inside. You can also varnish it if you want or if you want you can just use a diluted glue if you feel it needs it there's still things that are sticking up on it until next time happy coloring <laughs>